Hi, Jung-ho. We start with the inter-Korean event in the north today. A delegation of around 160 South Koreans is in Pyongyang to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the October 4th Declaration, the agreement signed by the late former President No Mu Hyun and then North Korean leader Kim Jong-il back in 2007. There was a celebratory event this morning. And for more on the rest of the day, let's connect to our Pak Hee-jun. Hee-jun, what have you got for us? Well, the delegates are halfway through their second day and halfway through their three-day schedule overall. Like you said, Devin, the main event commemorating the 11th anniversary of the 2007 Inter-Korean Summit was held this morning. There could be last-minute changes to the schedule, but what we know so far is that after having Pyongyang's famous cold noodles for lunch at the Ongnyu restaurant, the South Koreans are probably touring the state-run Mansude Art Studio, one of North Korea's largest art production centers, also believed to be one of the biggest in the world. They will also visit the Mangyongdae School Children's Palace, an after-school facility for extracurricular activities in art, music, and sports. We hear from the press pool that the South Korean delegates in five respective fields of expertise will also meet separately with their counterparts this evening at 6 p.m. Those meetings will involve government officials and politicians and civic, cultural, and religious figures. That's something that wasn't originally planned. Later in the evening, they're scheduled to watch the famous mass games and an artistic performance. They will end the day with a dinner banquet at 10 p.m. You can probably spot a lot of similarities with President Moon Jae-in's schedule when he was visiting the city for the Inter-Korean Summit. Now, it hasn't been revealed whether there will be additional talks between the two Koreas on the sidelines of the event. There has been speculation about a high-level meeting between Unification Minister Cho myung yoon and his North Korean counterpart Lee son won especially since Cho, upon his departure for the North, hinted at the possibility of that meeting, which would focus on follow-up measures to the Pyongyang Declaration signed last month. There could also be meetings between Seoul's Vice Minister of Health and Cultural Heritage Administrator and their North Korean counterparts, to discuss medical and cultural exchanges. I'll keep an eye out for these encounters, but for now, back to you, Devin.